Hey friends, welcome back. This is Jeff Fritz and I've got another interview here as part of .NET Conf 2019 and I'm joined by Nathan from Preemptive. Hey Nathan, it's great to see you. Hello, good to meet you. So Preemptive, they you make .Fuscator. There's got to be some really neat things going on with .Fuscator now that we have .NET Core 3. That's right. There's been there's been a lot changing in the .NET world lately and a lot that's changed in .Fuscator to, to try to address it. Uh, lately, we've changed how our builds integrate, how we integrate into the build process. Uh, it's it's really just our new way of integrating, and it's what our instructions say. And so, so .NET Core three has actually come along fairly smoothly for us. We've there've been some changes in the language and some changes in the build infrastructure, uh, but the way Dafuscator works just keeps working with with the new stuff. Oh, that's great! And, and especially now that we have the the new project file format, and we have new ways that we can integrate yep. and kick off things that that had to be a little bit of a hurdle for your team to cross to get to that it just works state that we all love right. to have, right? That's right. Yep. Yep. Uh, so yeah, if you look at our docs, there's you know a tab we're on the getting started page for if you're using .NET Framework, and there's a tab for .NET Core, and there's a tab for Xamarin, uh, and so just depending on the platform you're on, the integrations and instructions are slightly different, oh, uh, and, and it just works, yeah. Oh my gosh. Now, if I use .Fuscator with a .NET Core application, do you see any kind of performance improvement when you move into the new .NET Core? Uh, not specifically because of Dofuscator, no. Okay. We, we're trying to do build integrations now. Like one of the things we're working on is to be able to run on multiple platforms, uh -huh. right? So historically, Dofuscator has been a Windows tool, and, and we're working right now to, to try to make it run on a Mac or Linux. Uh, it's especially important for our Xamarin users, right, trying to build iOS apps. But, but .NET Core itself has seen a lot of popularity with people trying to build on alternate platforms. So Very cool. it's been a big deal for us. So when I build my applications, though, I might be running, you know, my .NET Core application might be sitting in, in GitHub, and I might actually run my builds through Azure DevOps. Can I run .Fuscator off of DevOps? You sure can. Uh, there's a couple of ways. Uh, we have a couple of DevOps extensions, so you can go out to the marketplace and find our stuff uh, and click through to install it into your, your workspace. Uh, we also, also our regular integration instructions work somewhat even better than the, than the extension does. Uh, you have to package up and make, make Dofuscator's NuGet package available uh, to your build, but then the integration works and, and the same build you'd run locally in dev, you can run in Azure DevOps and it works the same way. Uh, and you get a protected output automatically where you would have normally gotten an unprotected output. Oh, that's tremendous. It's great mm -hmm. to hear all these places where it just makes sense when you want to build, you want to apply the, that hardening, that strengthening around your application, and, and .Fuscator is just there for us. Yep. Yeah, that, that's been a big deal, right? So as .NET becomes a more cross-platform platform, platform <laughs> right? Uh, oh, yeah. We, the, the, the security, the protection needs have changed, right? So, so typical desktop developers had kind of one stance and web server side developers had another and mobile have another. And now that .NET is, is really got a presence in all those places, uh, the need for the sort of thing we do has changed a lot. Uh, it's, it's really become a more important thing. Oh, that's tremendous. So if I want to learn more, if I want to get my copy of .Fuscator, where should I go to check that out? Uh, well, so the simplest place is right in Visual Studio. Uh, if you've installed it, there may be the Dofuscator Community Edition already there. Okay. Uh, you can also get the Community Edition from our website or evaluation versions of our Professional Edition are available uh, just for registering on our website. So okay. it's a pretty easy process uh, and you can download an eval and, and get started. That's great. Well, thanks so much, Nathan. I really appreciate you joining us here. Yeah, it's been great talking to you. Thank you. All right, and I hope all of you out there have a great rest of your .NET Conf 2019.